Hey everybody, it's Suzanne A. Wells and I have another eBay Supersize Sales video for you. Just a few quick side notes before we jump in. First of all, the sales in these videos come from my Facebook group where we have a dedicated thread every month for sales of $100 or more. Some of you out there have emailed me your sales for possible inclusion in these videos and I just get so much email and so much spam that sometimes they just go overlooked and I don't even know they're in there. So uh, to play the game you have to join my Facebook group and post your sales there for possible inclusion in these videos. And I do try to give everybody a chance <laughs> to show up in a video. We do have some repeat offenders that post many sales over $100. And then we have new people who have their first one. So I like to try to include everybody, but it's just impossible to put every single sale in these videos because that thread could have three to four hundred comments on it and it's just a lot of information so I encourage you to go there to study these sales as well as watch these videos for some highlights. Okay the next housekeeping detail is the frequently asked question about why am I not on camera in these videos and that's really a two-part answer First of all, my presentation style comes from my corporate background where it's not about me, it's about the material I'm presenting. It's about the community of sellers and what other people are selling and showing you those items. So you guys don't really need to see me for that part. Um, another reason is because I'm on camera a lot in the premium library and if you want to see more of me you can go there. For example, I added a new feature back in September of this year, 2021, where I do a weekly bulletin on camera, kind of like a short news report and we're just having fun with these. There's different themes. I may be in a different location dressing up for a particular holiday. So if you want to see more of me, you can come to the Premium Library because I now have 435 videos, but there's a lot more of me on camera there than on YouTube. So I'm just answering that question because it's been asked and I am very detail oriented and I don't like to do anything live and if I'm going to be on camera it's planned I have an outline of what I'm gonna say it's not ad-lib I'm not just throwing it out there for you so those are the two housekeeping details and now let's get into the $100 or more sales for the last part of September and October so far starting off with Diane Stumpf she said, found this pretty lady at my local thrift store, paid $1.50 for her. She sold about one month later for $100. She is a Joseph Originals made in Japan. I actually found three Joseph Originals on the same day and all three have sold. This was the last one. I made some pretty good money off these pretties. So there you can see the photo. Joseph Originals, Blue Lady with Parasol, Love Makes the World Go Round, 9 inch, sold for $100. And this looks very familiar, so either I saw it a few times on Facebook or I put this in the last video. <laughs> Sorry if, if it's a repeat, but I do think this uh, figurine is just beautiful. I love the colors and her pretty little face, so if she shows up in the video twice, good for her. <laughs> Okay, next up is Carla City. I got this set from a garage sale not far from my house. She has a sale, meaning the person having the garage sale, at least once a month during the season. I paid up $20 because there was gold in the green diamonds. I have sold a lot of Culver but never seen that. Thought at least double my money. I usually do buy it now but wanted to see how high this set would go. Sold on September 28th. 
had to hold on to them for a couple of weeks since I was going on vacation. Listed them as soon as I got back. So this set of six Culver Valencia 22 karat gold and green martini set with pitcher, $109.49. Okay, next up is Mayra. She said she bought this scarf at an estate sale on Friday, listed on Sunday afternoon, and sold Monday morning. I paid $1. The estate sale was already half empty, and this scarf was on a pile of random items without a price. The colors caught my attention, so I looked it up. Found only one sold for around $80, but I decided to price it higher and wait. So this is a vintage Pauline Treasure Sagittarius Zodiac sign silk scarf. Sold for $120. Okay, Tina Walpke. This is her first sale over $100. So congratulations, Tina, on the sale. <laughs> and for making it into the video. She said she purchased this at Goodwill for $6-ish, sold in under an hour for full price. Kilt had a small hole in the pocket which I repaired and disclosed. This is Mountain Hardware Men's Large Activewear Utility Elk Commando Kilt with Pockets. That is very unusual. I don't think I've ever found a kilt a men's kilt. So good find there. And it sold for $122.22. Next up is Joni Ray Calcal. Bought this vintage opium bath powder at an estate sale for $40. It sold for $125. And you can see that it was only 75% full. So a fourth of it had been used and it still sold for $125. Love going to estate sales and hitting the bathroom first because that's where you find all these fun discontinued health and beauty products, fragrances um, that people still want and obviously will pay a lot of money for. Okay, Tammy Mitchell. Purchased at garage sale for $15, listed for three months, took best offer of $125 plus shipping. German ASTA cookware set, vintage five piece cast iron enamel. Beautiful floral pattern, $15, sold for $125. Okay, Peggy Pedroza. Free, given to me a few years ago, but didn't use it. And Peggy, you're probably going to be glad that you didn't use it. <laughs> Sold in about a week. Vintage IGEA, or is it IGIA? Sun System Facial Tanner. So it was free. She sold it for $125. And you know, the first thing I thought of when I saw this was the episode of that 70s show. <laughs> where they use the tanning bulb and uh, like the lamp and they just get fried um, because that was a thing back in the 70s and 80s. People did use these tanning lamps and they just, I mean, they just cooked you. They were terrible. So um, anyway, there's Peggy's item, the facial tanner. <laughs> Definitely a vintage item. Okay, Pam Card found the Ray-Ban sunglasses at thrift store and paid a dollar, put it up for auction at $99.97 and sold. One day later, customer asked to cancel because he didn't see that they needed new lenses. Put in store for $129.97 and sold in a week later for full price. So vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses Wayfarer and these were a dollar ended up selling for $129.97 okay we've got Tim and Rachel Beachy these were super cool paid $12 at a local thrift store 
listed and sold for $129.99 plus shipping in about a month. And yes, I agree, these are super cool. Vintage El Vaquero Mindo Exotic Blue Alligator Cowboy Western Boots. $12 sold for $129.99. And then Tim and Rachel have another item, a Jim Shore Nativity Angel. Stopped at a random garage sale and picked this up for $20. Listed for $159.99 and ran a 15% off sale. Sold for $139.99 in a week plus buyer paid shipping. So here you see the Jim Shore 2014 Holiday Living 21 inch Holy Family Nativity Angel. And this is the perfect segue to tell you about the Jim Shore angel I found last week. However, her head was missing. <laughs> so this is a photo of the item on the shelf at Goodwill. And then on the right is what she's supposed to look like. So I did not buy it. However, in hindsight, I could have bought it to resell as the Marie Antoinette version. <laughs> of a Jim Shore angel. <laughs> no, just kidding. I was remembering the Van Gogh edition of Mrs. Potato Head, who is missing an ear. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, this could be the Marie Antoinette edition of this particular angel. <laughs> Um, so, okay, sorry, I digress, but you do have to laugh sometimes. All right, moving on to Don McMaster. Picked up a huge stack of Royal Copenhagen Christmas plates for $4 each. Sold this in less than an hour for best offer of $150. So there you can see the blue and white Royal Copenhagen. $4 sold for $150. And Tammy Mitchell is back. Purchased on Facebook Marketplace for $30. Listed for four weeks. Took a best offer of $150 plus shipping. Pioneer Woman Keeper Set for potato, onion, garlic. That is a cute little set. On to Pamela Lambros. She sold an original Steinbach handmade 12 inch nutcracker. She paid $4 at a local thrift shop and it sold for $152.55. Shelly Carpenter Wood bought in mystery yarn boxes for $1.25 a skein, $12 for $15. Sold in two to three weeks with discounted price if you bought multiples. Discontinued yarn is always a win for me. This is Lion Brand Go For Faux Quick Thick Bonus Bundle Yarn Husky 3-Pack. $160 for some yarn because it's discontinued. And it makes you wonder, like, did somebody have a project half finished and they need more? Or do they just want it because it's discontinued and they can brag about how much they paid for it on on eBay. I think that's part of the reason some of these discontinued things sell for so much because uh, I can just imagine people sitting around at uh, you know get together at a neighbor's house and they're like yeah my favorite toothpaste was discontinued I had to go on eBay and buy it for a hundred dollars you know like they just want bragging rights so um, you know I would just figure out a different kind of toothpaste to use. I'm not paying that much, but I know, I know, I am not my buyer, but it just makes you wonder um, what the story is when people pay so much for discontinued items. Okay, Lucas Hashbarger paid $5 at a garage sale, sold in a week, had to really work to get the dog hair out. Still some in there and put that in the listing. This is one of those highly coveted 
Pendleton Beaver State Wool Blankets. $5 sold for $165. So let's talk about this dog hair issue because I know some of you will comment. Um, you know, as long as it's disclosed in the listing and the person knows what they're buying, you can go into all these conversations about allergies and, you know, sensitivities. But if somebody's that sensitive, are they buying stuff on eBay like this? Probably not. Um, and who knows? It could be going to be used for a dog bed or something where it doesn't even matter. So um, he did the right thing and cleaned it up as well as possible and just claimed in the listing, you know, here's what's going on with this item and let the buyer make that decision. But please do comment because I know some of you have um, a lot to say <laughs> about imperfect items, so feel free to comment. Okay, we've got Sarah Eeks paid $5 for this perfume at a yard sale. It had barely been used and the decorative plastic on the back of the bottle had some damage although the glass bottle itself was fine. So this is Givenchy Hot Couture EDP Spray, 3.3 ounces, $179. She paid $5 for it. Okay, Eileen Cole, the book lady, is back. Paid 50 cents for this vintage dictionary as part of an online auction lot sold for $199 plus shipping, took nine months to sell. 1935 Webster's New International Dictionary Second Edition Unabridged India Paper. Now I had the pleasure of chatting with Eileen back in 2018 on a seller success interview for YouTube and Eileen, I think everyone would love to hear from you on a podcast because you just know so much about books. Um, so let me know if you are interested. Linda Fay, she says, I can't believe I have another super size to share already. I bought this 10 pound bag of viscose bamboo crochet thread at Goodwill for about $12. I decided to try to sell it in a lot because it was easier to list than to piece it out. Most of the spools were full, but some of them were messy. I listed them for $199 because several were only partial rolls and I knew that shipping would be expensive. They sold overnight for full asking price plus $52 shipping. So there you can see the Aunt Lydia's 100% viscose from bamboo crochet thread. Huge lot of 75 and her cost was $12, sold for $199 in less than a day. Linda, you are doing great. I've been watching your posts and you are selling and so I know you're new at this and congratulations, you are doing so well. Okay, Brian Rappaport, and this is not a camera or anything electronic, I don't think. Paid $5 at a garage sale four to five weeks ago. That's four to five weeks ago, not 45 weeks ago. Sold for $199 plus $58 shipping to Ireland. My second $180 plus dollar sale to Europe in three days. If you are not selling internationally, why not? That is a great question, Brian. Um, I try to convert people all the time. <laughs> and I think they are sick of hearing me say it. This is the Muppet Show set of eight mini plush eight inch toys. Yeah, these are plush. They're not electronic, which is... Um, Brian does very well with the electronics and cameras and stuff like that. So, so it was fun to see this Muppet Show item from you, Brian. Okay, and our cover item is from Jackie Basie. And I have to give a shout out to Jackie because she has been working so hard on her eBay store for th at least three years. 
Jackie, I know you've been a member of the Premium Library since I started it. So um, she's really been working hard. So it's so nice to see her first post in this thread. I paid about $5 for this software and a lot I won in an online auction. I accepted a $200 offer in a couple of days. This is Designers Gallery Masterworks Embroidery Digitizing Software. $5 and sold for $200. And congratulations, Jackie. You are persistent and you just keep going and it's paying off. So I'm really happy for you. Oh, look, it's me. <laughs> I had to show you my Coogie sweater. I paid $6 at Goodwill for this. It sold for 200 and it sold within a month. And I found this one at sort of a uh, crappy little Goodwill that I don't really think about for great finds. I just was in there and um, lo and behold, this was in front of me and I never found one before. This was a rare find for me. $6 sold for 200 Okay, Patricia Allner picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar and was using it for a water cup at work until someone posted it as a bolo. Posted Thursday, sold Friday, shipped today. This is the Starbucks Lavender Purple Embossed Metallic Tin Foil Tumbler, $210. This is a piece of plastic. It's just pretty and shiny and purple and um, Starbucks does this on purpose where they create items for a limited time so they will become collectible. And this is one of those things. So I feel like Patricia was like, oh, I could find another water cup. I'm totally selling this. <laughs> Okay, Brianna Murphy. My husband bought a whole set of solid sterling flatware for $6. We are piecing it out and someone bought all seven forks almost as soon as we listed these. Alvin Sterling Dinner Fork Romantique Pattern. So there was some confusion on the group. Somebody thought it was $210 for one fork but it was for all of these $210 and their investment was $6. Okay, Michelle Martin, it was really hard to pick just one of your sales because you had so many <laughs> in a row, uh, but this one looked fun. Purchased this toy at a store, brand new for $40, sold within two months for $264.40, that's American dollars. This is Hasbro for Real Friends Torch My Blazing Dragon 2015. Initial investment $40, sold for $264. Moving right along, we have Jody Clark paid a dollar each at an estate sale for these 16 new vintage scotch 150 reel-to-reel -reel tapes sold in an hour for $229.95 plus $20 shipping wow that is uh, interesting that these are still being used all right, now we have KC, and this entry is not so much about the item, but, um, well, you'll hear. $25 on Facebook Marketplace sold for $250 overnight. This sat in my death pile for a full four years. <laughs> um, it's a Canon camcorder, mini DVD with the case, battery accessories. So um, I still say I want to go shopping in Casey's basement because if I had, maybe he would have sold me this for what he paid for it and I could have sold it in much faster than four years. <laughs> so get on those death piles. Get your stuff listed. It could sell immediately. All right, now we have Lewis the Toy Guy. Paid $10 at a garage sale, listed for $449.95, sold on a best offer I sent 
after about four months. Selling price $399.95. This is new in box Polly Pocket Disney Little Mermaid Ariel Under the Sea Kingdom Mattel. So there you go, $10 sold for just under $400. Okay, this next item, Kimberly Furman. She had a little bit to say, so I'm going to read this before I show you the item. I bought this at an estate sale that was sparse on items. I saw this in the garage and decided to see if it worked. It did, but I put it back. I found the shipping box in an outside building and brought it to the garage to put together. Walked to the paying line and decided to look it up and gasp. I went back to the garage and snatched it up. I bought it for $12, listed and sold it for two weeks for full asking price of $445. So not only did the estate sale not have much stuff, but she wasn't even sure about this item and just kind of picked it up. And here it is, that Christmas tree with dogs on it again. <laughs> These keep popping up. Rare Danbury Mint Scottish Terrier Christmas tree with lights, cord, and box, $445. I have seen one of these with the bulldogs on it. Um, there was another one with a little white dog on it. I forget the breed, but this just keeps popping up. So these are definitely out there. And it's the Christmas tree with a certain breed of dog on it. Almost $500 for something that she almost left behind. So um, good intuition on that one. Okay, we have Cameron Hilty. Sold these for my uncle. He bought these 20 years ago for $125 a piece. And these are so fragile, they fell apart just by sitting there. And you can only find these in this condition. I had them listed for $600 plus shipping and accepted for best offer in about two weeks. Minneapolis Moline Toy Tractor Gray and he said they were purchased 20 years ago. So these are definitely vintage, maybe, probably not antique, but definitely vintage. And they sold for $550. Okay, we've got Casey again, because this is a high dollar sale, so I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. $40 at the thrift store, sold for $900 in about a week. Also sold one accessory I found with the machine for $120 for a total of a $1,020 sale. Husqvarna Viking Designer Topaz Sewing Machine with Embroidery Unit. $40, sold for $900 in about a week, and Casey, I'm now going to commend you for getting that listed so quickly and not letting it sit in your basement for four years. <laughs> okay, and the winner this week is Emily Ng. This is my best sale ever. Yay, congratulations! <laughs> Found a lot of NES games along with the wooden storage, console, and accessories for $50. Already sold two other games and the wooden storage for $110. So this is pure gravy. Sold for full asking price of $1,500 in about a month. Yes, I shipped with insurance and signature confirmation. Hoping nothing goes wrong with this transaction as it is still on the way to the buyer. This is NES, which is Nintendo Panic Restaurant Game with manual and this was posted on October 2nd so Emily if you're watching we would love an update if everything went well it was delivered received in great condition and the buyer was happy so let us know okay that wraps up another edition of eBay supersized sales of hundred dollars or more again visit my Facebook group and post your Supersize sales on the dedicated thread for the month and see if you are included in an upcoming video. 
thanks to everyone who posts and participates and for supporting each other on your eBay journey. See you next time. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.